the passive is called. It actually really increases damage output. Now, when we interval Dendi, he went out to as far as to say he is overpowered. Oh, and he could beat heroes Radiant like BKB back. carries the blood suka. That oh. counters that counters Zeus mid, right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But well, who does he not counter mid? Come on. It's Actually, I like the blood seeker here because it works so well with ancient apparition and nature's prophet. And you just throw out those two ultis, Ten and your blood seeker should be a race car by now, and he can just run in and kill something. And Bloodseeker is Five annoying in this patch, remaining. really annoying. If he gets the silence on you, you cannot get rid of it. There's not a single way. So... Reserve time. He's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, Marana Killer definitely as well. Cannot okay. leap away, cannot walk away. Question for Waga. You, I know you play lots of pubs. Uh, you stream... Tons. Wagamama TV, Twitch TV slash Wagamama TV. Thanks for a plug. Uh, of course. <laughs> yes. And, Alliances um, you run turn them to ban. I do, yeah. Uh, so you run them and... When are you happier? If you run them at Bloodseeker or if you run them at Zeus? Uh, what a question. Well, the thing about randoming Bloodseeker is that you can buy both your Stout Shield uh, and your Killing Ten Blade and still have remaining. lots of money. Mm -hmm. So you can buy Stout Shield or Tango Cell. So that's pretty strong. But Would you go Five mid with that build? Remaining. Yeah, sure. Tango Qualing? I don't know. It's it's strong. You can also go for a poor man shield early, but if you Reserve get something time. like a Zeus or whatever, you don't need that. So, right. but I think Zeus is more fun because you can Radiant snowball. I mean, Bloodseeker is a snowball hero as well, but mm -hmm. Zeus is really strong with his nukes. And there are some weak heroes on Rock's Kiss. Sure, they have the Bloodseeker silence, but Rubik AA. Rubik has his passive, but you don't have it early game, and yeah. that's when it's gonna hurt from uh, the magic damage from Zeus. Of course, later on, it's pretty nice to have that null fields to. Uh, like, like some of the damage. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be interesting because this Ten game is one of those rare games. Sometimes you see a team going a global strat, but in this game, no one is Five safe anywhere in the map. Remaining. Because one team, they have Bloodseeker that reveals you there's AA Blast, there's Nature's Prophet. Reserve On the other time. side, there's a Zeus. Uh, potential from a Clockwork, which, well, I mean, the Rocket Flare is global. So there's lots of global stuff going on here. Uh, do you think this is going to affect the way the lanes are played, like once everyone gets to level 6, level 7, in the, in the sense that you can still stay on your lane and participate in team fights, Or do you think one of these teams are like looking towards fighting when they get to level 6, 7? I think that both of these teams are really aggressive. Both of them want to fight, but I think Rock's kids want to bring the fight even more so than Alliance, especially with this like AA Bloodseeker kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You want to run down your enemy and kill them. But Rave King is a good hero in Five this game, though. I remaining. think that he was a pretty good pickup uh, because he's one of the heroes that it doesn't matter if he goes low Alliance HP or gets focused early. Right? At least not with the draft. You have Cogs um, from Adam. Uh, okay. And we see a Dragonite being picked up. So this should be. A farming Bloodseeker and a mid DK, I would say, but you can also do it the other way around. It depends which one you want to have high level on first. Bloodseeker is really good with levels, though. Yeah. I really like it for the Rux Kisses draft that they have basically got three heroes that can do all fairly well by themselves, and then Rubik, Ancient Seconds Operation, remaining. they're just going to be able to do their thing. And they, as a duo, are Five maybe Seconds more successful remaining. than Race King with whatever hero is getting picked up by Alliance right now because. They're just a bit more Reserve able to be active time. early on, especially with the Chilling Touch coming out as well from the AA. I think that if they are active enough early on, Alliance are going to have a tough time getting that Wraith King off the ground, and Zeus is also very susceptible to ganks. He is for sure. And I like what Rock's Kiss did, though, where they ban out the Shadow Demon as well, because that would have been a good hero for Alliance. I'm surprised Venom that they didn't want to pick it uh, earlier. <laughs> they go for a Venomancer. Because that's not a hero that you can target down with a Bloodseeker and just silence him to get rid of him from the fight. I was thinking about them picking up something like a Bane to have a combination with uh, Mirana and Setup, but that would just be hard countered by the silence from uh, Bloodseeker later on. So this does mean that Zeus gets more focused though. Earlier, Shiva, you were saying Prepare that A and Rubik are uh, looking to roam for Rock's Kiss, but Venomancer is actually yeah. a pretty good roamer now, and you were saying. Well, maybe Rave King and you can whatever they pick might not be better. Would you now think about the same again? Like no, I would th now think that Alliance is actually looking pretty solid for uh, for early game as well. Because it's very difficult to go aggressive against the Venomancer. I mean, if you're going to chase people down, great. But you're going to get galed, and it can turn against you so fast. Mm -hmm. And the heroes that Alliance have, I mean, if they're going to try, if the supports are going to try to gank 
mid. I think that the supports of Alliance are also going to be able to be ready for that. Like I said, for Ruxkis, they've got three heroes that are able to go solo. Alliance has the same. Right. But here's the thing that we none of us actually had in mind. It's a support plus seeker. It's Gold no. Black playing yet. BZZ is on the AA. Unless they're playing something out of role. Battles. Yeah, well, support, he's jungling with a QB and Stout Shield, so he's gonna farm up. And this is pretty, well, it's innovative for sure from Rock's Kiss. And it would be interesting to see how this is gonna play out, but he's just cutting the trees. To be honest, he's gonna farm on the safe lane, so they chose to put the DK on mid and get more farm but less levels on the plot seeker. But Goblet playing. Are they then switching roles? Because I know Rockskis was a team the that begins. actually, at some point, when they were still in, when Goblet was still in Sigma, previous Sigma, they um, actually changed everybody's names to one of their teammates' names. Wow, that's so and it was, hardcore. That was like really confusing because you know obviously we were expecting different things, mm -hmm. but. I don't, like, it's not possible anymore, or is it? It is, because you could control whatever the name shows up. This is true. Yeah, so... No, maybe Yo is not Yo. Maybe. I trust him, though. I trust yeah. him. So... See, mid lane, though, DK against uh, Zeus. I mean, you can't really stop DK from farming, it, but Zeus should get pretty good farm against the DK. He should pretty much get every single creep, I feel. Because, yeah, it's not that easy to deny a Zeus already, and then you have DK who has pretty horrible denies. On this top lane, look at the trees just zoning out the EGM support. Sidoy doing a good job. Yeah, he's an amazing Nature's Prophet. He's also a very active Nature's Prophet. I mean, if we're talking about early roams from the supports, Sidor is going to be there. That's one big edge that Rockskis have over Alliance. Yep. He also went for Boots first, which uh, it is a standard item, but in this case, getting away from that Hellfire Blast as well as Gale is a pretty big deal in terms of surviving. If they never land your stun, you can zone out both supports with a good tree micro, and that's exactly what he's doing. So Yeah, good control, and as you say, if he can stay away from the stun and the slow, he'll be just fine. Also, going into early phase boots is really strong if you want to gang and help your team. Mm -hmm. And in this team, you want to gang. You have Bloodseeker, you have AA. You want all the kills you can get, man. When do you think that um, BZ is going to try to roam around? Are they going to like smoke early or they want to wait for level 2 or 3 on the supports? It, like they're level it, 1 right They're now. not too strong of ganking combo, sure. They have the lift into cold feet, but it's not that strong on the early levels. But killing Zeus once before he hits level 6 is pretty good. Because mm -hmm. then Solo could be doing really good on mid lane, get level 6 before the Zeus gets his, and then it's so much easier to gank for him in the future. So maybe wait until um, the four minutes mark, no time? I think they should do one pull now, like a single pull, just to show that they're pulling and gank mid with a smoke gank. But it depends when you want to do it. Bulldog just holding the creeps here on bottom lane, by the way. So he's going to get some experience into the tower. That was needed because he's, uh, he's actually... Uh, actually, he's on par with Sidoy at the moment. He's having a tough time. Maybe not as much with an Invis Rune now picked up, but he's still afraid to come close. Yeah. Scary yeah. combination though. No, no. Race King and Venomancer. Yeah, one thing about the supports of Alliance, which oh Shane pointed out earlier in the game, is the, the sub two supports never start with Sentry. It's actually very, very greedy, and if uh, Sedoi so noticed that, he can just go in the lane and get experience, but actually, they're gonna get a pull off. This is pretty big. He's gonna try to get the pull oh, off away. It. Okay. No arrow attempt from Loda. Yeah. So, nice for Sedoi. One creep does get pulled, the range creep, but that's fine. He still got the majority of the experience coming to his tower. For last hits, actually I'm surprised that the DK is out last hitting the Zeus on mid lane. Of course, he should not be denied by Zeus either. Both of these heroes are really bad at denying. We see three denies against zero, so this mid lane is all about getting the farm. Yeah, Bottle Crone going on for solo though will definitely help him out a lot. And oh yeah. Both That's of them just running bottle. Yeah, and he's actually leveling up Breathe Fire, so also something that we don't see every day anymore. Yeah, some people want to keep it down to not increase the mana cost, and you can still last hit with just one point. I think Mushi is one of the guys who started doing it a whole lot, and people kind of take after it. And uh, I don't know, sometimes it can be nice to have more damage. What do you think about skipping Dragon Tail then? I don't know about that. That is a big tell though that they don't want to gang for mid lane anytime oh, soon. Top lane, Ciro is in some trouble, he's gonna get stunned, he already got gailed, but yeah, he can just teleport out. If that stun already hit, no arrow, nowhere to be seen, so... Yeah, they do but force uh, him away. Yeah, I don't know about skipping Dragon Tail completely. Sure, one extra point into Dragon Blood is nice, but it's one more HP regen and some extra armor. You don't need armor against Zeus. 
so I think maybe a misclick, but either way, it's kind of weird to me. Well, so far he's doing well. He's also uh, having nice rune control. And in comes the smoke gank with the haste rune coming up from solo, but without the I think he wants tail. to stun now. Yeah, yeah they can still kill stun. him, though, without a stun now, maybe. But he definitely would have killed with a stun now. The dangerous thing, thing about ganking Zeus under his tower is that he might die, but he's going to take you down with him. It's going to be a lift toss back. This is There's a flame grab, the right click. Where's yeah. the bolt? It's going to go on Ryo. First blood is going to get drawn. It's going to get picked up by solo. So it's not necessary, man. Yeah, they make it work, Dragon right? tail. <laughs> And he tanked more with Dragon's Blood. Where we at, guys? Yeah, that tank. New meta. New meta. So that gank was really good, though. And it did come in right before Zeus hits his level 6 and bottom lane now as well. Yeah. Trying to kill. Want to go for Bulldog? The lift up is there. They do have the silence as well. And I think they've got enough damage to take him down. He's going to be your second kill yeah. with the chilling touch yeah. helping out. And it is Yul, actually to take the, the gold Dyer's from now on. So he's a very rich attack. support at this point. Mid lane, the tower dives coming through from Solo. He will have Flame Breath coming off cooldown. Oh, oh my five. goodness. Woo! One HP. He's going to come back in, maybe oh. using the poison. It's That's giving him a little bit choice. of slow. He's going to bolt, right click. The bottle is giving him through Solo. It's going to have the Are Dragon Blood regen. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> nice hype, though. <laughs> nice hype. Yeah. Was pretty close, though. Nice coming in by, uh, by Loda as well, just to see if he could do something still. And I think he actually picked up the experience for that kill, which is pretty nice for him. And he can take the farm while the dragon or the Zeus is uh, gone, of course. Yeah, so Zeus got the return kill, but he did not get the experience for it. And he's just barely level 6, so he's really following behind now. And you don't want to die with Zeus in the early game. That is the weakness of the hero. It's so easy to gank, so yeah, it's always going to be the risk. So we, we see Midas being picked up on Bloodseeker. Your thoughts on, on this particular hero, like normally you want him to roam around and get a lot of kills? I don't like it. I don't like it that much. I think that you want to be tanky on Bloodseeker. I like power threads into maybe a blade mail, maybe a Sanj into just Halberd later on. But it's just, to me, Bloodseeker just needs to be fat and run in first. That's all he needs to do. What about that middle fight instant regen by killing Creep, yo? Yeah, save your Midas. There you go. Someone is ever gonna do that. New for meta. Yeah. Well, Solo is about to get a tough life because in comes EGM and Aki looking for a gank. They do have to disable Gale as well if need be. That armor. His armor is really working for them, but I don't think he's gonna make it out. The lasses will be there, the nice clicks, and yeah, he's oh, gonna try he to gonna... can, but oh, no. One close, more hit and he could have killed S4 there. But just not fast enough with the slows. Mm -hmm. Top lane is Radiant's being pressured a lot right now. Tyrion is coming in. No, actually, Ruby coming in to take. Yeah, the other thing that I'm not really impressed with the uh, Bloodseeker play so far is the fact that he's level 6, he doesn't have a teleport scroll, nor is he actually looking to rupture. I feel like, again, this is one of those heroes that whenever his ultimate's on cooldown, you should be getting kills, or at least forcing them. If he had a TP, he could have come into the mid lane, and probably is a good kill. Bottom lane, we do see him go on the Bulldog, and you're pretty screwed when this happens. <laughs> if you get ruptured and I silenced and someone is behind you and Fury and TP's in, you're just dead. So a little bit out of position for a Bulldog here, and that should be a push on bottom lane. Yeah, EGM and Aki were actually waiting for Dragonite to come back mid so they can gank him again, but... Yeah. Rubik is going to be Dyer's caught here on top if he doesn't back, but he did see them somehow. Dyer's yeah, bottom he tower saw them attack. early and backed out. It's nighttime, so uh, they don't see it now, they see him. Two results with coming out. Yeah, he had good awareness. He was pinging where they were going to show up. Radiant so bottom tower goes down pretty fast. They cliff the top. I do like uh, Zeus using the ultimate for vision. It offers so much, and I'm happy that he's not too uh, scared to use it for that, for purely Radiant that reason. Yes, you don't want to sit around and just have your ulti ready and never get to use it, because mm -hmm. that's so much, you know, it's just 90 second cooldown. It's not that long, so you definitely want to get it off. Yeah, we're now seeing the power of this Dragonite. A little bit of a confusing last pick because it was vying for that solo position that we thought Bloodseeker would have, but it really adds a lot more pushing. Yeah. Uh, especially in the early game when your Nature Prophet can't push as efficiently. Uh, tier 1 tower destroyed, Tier 2 really being forced out. Admiral Bulldog does not have the hook, so it's going to be a safe escape for Rock's Kiss. Yeah, but that, I mean, that's two towers tower going down for zero denied. towers. Sure, they get a deny on Tier 2, but map map presence is gone on that bottom lane so if they Dyer's can keep training now with the dk and fury and just take down the towers then rocks kiss are in a really good position actually about four thousand gold lead mm -hmm. uh going to rocks kiss what does oh, that do? EGM. free rupture free kill i mean arrow's gonna hit he might as well do as much damage but goldblock's gonna get his hp back so yeah he was farming with low hp and there okay. comes a hook 
Yeah, looking to take down Godlike. That battery assault's really uh, hampering him. Telekinesis is coming out. Joel might be the lifesaver of Godlike. But Godlike doesn't have any stacks for being fast. He is going to be able to make it out. I don't think Joel is going to be so lucky, though. Or <laughs> just get picked the up. The KS. S4 says, that's mine. Yo. Okay, do you get the experience Radiant's for that kill? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Worth. Same thing as with Invoker. Worth. Mm -hmm. Worth. Yeah, you're a Zeus, you can do that. You're behind. Oh, mid lane, we see a stun, but it's just a wrap. But yeah, that was that was still nice though for Rock's Kiss. Sure, they lose their, their Rubik, but who cares? Is it the first rotation kind of that Godlike made? He was involved in a kill, but he's not really farming anymore at this moment. He's uh, rotating back bottom, I guess, to continue farming, but I kind of feel like he should be more active for some reason. Well, it's pretty early still, and there's a point of having the Midas now mid lane. We are gonna see an initiation here. Trying to go on EGM. But they actually are killing though, yeah. Have the nukes. Yeah, four heroes of Ruxkis rotating mid at the same time, actually five. So they look like they're preparing to take Dyer's down another tower. tower. They also use the dragon form for that as well. So with Solo coming back in, this Radiant's tier one should not be standing very much longer. Attack. And Alliance, the only real counter push they have is the level three Venomous Wards, the Poison Radiant's Wards from Aki. Radiant's top tower has fallen, has fallen. Not really sure that's enough at this point. Well, no, not really against Dragon Knight, because he still has a long time on his dragon form. And he can just run up, hit once and back all the time. But even with Furin, they will just push through this. Dyer's middle tower I is don't know, they seem like they want to this alliance, they know if they sack too many towers against this lineup of rocks, kiss, they will be ganked everywhere from there on. So they have to make a fight, get something out of this. Ooh, huh? Dyer's already positioning for a hook shot, but the tower uh, nice. denied still. But with a Zeus, with the yeah. Zeus, <laughs> I mean, it, it looked like it wasn't much because uh, again, the map opens up that allows your blood seeker, your nature prophet to do more backstab. At the same time, though, you know, Loda was able to get a tower up top, so they are striking back where they can. Their lineup is weaker in the early game, and it's unfortunate that EGM has picked Radiant's up so many times before acquiring his ultimate. Attack. But there is going to be a point where Alliance have a fairly decent kind of team fight, split push. They have a lot of mobility. So I don't think we should count them out just yet, but it's a definite Rock's Kiss advantage. The question is for me, how are we going to transition that advantage into that godly Bloodseeker that could just run at your team and, and kill everything? I don't know if it needs to come to that point because Rock says they're just moving as a team and training down every tower right now. So I don't know if they have to. They have to deal with the bottom push either by pushing mid now or Radiant doing something. Bottom tower. No, we have a right now, attack, Alliance attack. though. Yeah, just taking it easy for now. Alliance. I don't think Alliance wants to take this fight. This could be really bad. <laughs> Well, Rox is smoked up as well, so they're going to get sandwiched here. They will be able to take down Mulder from playing behind. In comes EGM, already getting the stun up. I think that's going to be the end of BC. Solo trying to do what he can, looking for a kill on S4, and S4 will end up dropping. Yo steals himself the arrow, can't really use it though, will get picked up. There's going to be a 2-4-2. Two, two. Clopper did buy back though, so he's going to be back. EGM, he does have his ultimate, so if he dies, everybody's slow. Can they come back? Yes, they can. Hookshot goes on to Cedar. Cedar drops Solo in some trouble. Now the arrow flies, hits up on Solo. He's not going to make it out alive either, and now it's only... Who's left? Nobody! Yeah, wow, well, they actually, actually turned this fight around no really around nicely, away. so Alliance, they managed to play out of this a lot yeah. by EGM's positioning and allowing themselves to die there so that they get slowed up. I think they could have backed out if Radiant's they didn't focus down, but of course, that Raid King ult yo, yeah. pretty strong. Yeah, and uh, I think in that fight we are seeing the weakness of that particular Midas build. It looks like we see Ice Blast coming in, that Gold Black is he's moving fast for whatever reason. He's gonna get one kill. Yeah, you can still try to slow him down, but it's gonna TP, TP in. That TP is gonna get cancelled oh, by the stun. Gold Black's just waiting angrily Radiant's outside. I'm gonna get that kill. No more reincarnation. That's a double. Yeah, and he does have the Blade Mail now, which is a great item on Bloodseeker. Probably one of the best heroes in the game to have a Blade Mail on because you have to do something about Bloodseeker running in on your team. And sure, for now, he's keeping level one on his Blood Rage, but I do think he's gonna start leveling that up. It doesn't matter if it's level four when you put it on the enemy Zeus. Sure, what is he gonna do, like, attack you? And you wanna have the damage when you buff yourself after you cast your ulti. So once he gets that up, Bl Blade Mail is really gonna let him get the damage out. Yeah, in that previous fight, I wasn't impressed by the Bloodseeker play because he had a lot of movement speed, but he kind of just ran back and forth because he wasn't going to run into a Clockwork or a Rave King that had his ultimate online. So he kind of ran back and forth and watched his supports die. But the Blade Man really allow him to, first of all, get a little bit more damage. That's nice, but also just Blood Rage himself, like Waga mentioned, and start right clicking. Yeah, and also, Midas, I mean, he is level 11 now. We're only 14 minutes in. That's a very early level 11 for a 8 carry, so 
He could be very strong oh, from this point. Solo. Wow, the dude's coming in. <laughs> Solo is trying to make it out alive, and he has got some backup coming, but I think it's gonna be too late. There we go. There's the Bloodseeker. Oh, the He's vision is there. Can they stop them from teleporting out? Only one. Only Murano dies. One for one in the end, though, as Clockwork oh, actually still keep goes going. down. Yeah, they're not done just yet. They're gonna find out Yule here as well, and EVM. Oh, he goes down. Okay, no, the he dies as well. The tick from the Hellfire Blast still took him down. Just a massacre. Yeah. Goblock got a really nice uh, initiation there on uh, Bulldog. Just went down immediately after one ulti, and then he can focus down on a Rave King. So the positioning for Alliance were kind of awkward there after diving in for that kill. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Radiance they're exchanging kills, but so far attack. Godlike hasn't died yet, and he actually got five kills at this point, so yeah. Yeah. he's Dyer's gonna get out of control at some point in this game, attack. I think. I think, are you, is this a BKB or a Mjolnir or a... Or I, think, so. I think you can rush Mjolnir pretty hard, actually. It's very strong, and... It helps just with their pushing as well. Yeah, exactly, because if he goes for BKB, it's nice. I don't know, either is really good. BKB is amazing though, if Clockwork ever hooks on you, you just BKB and stand there and punch him to death, no one can do anything about it. But we'll see which one he opts to go for first. I think definitely he wants to have both items this game. Then. Yeah, I mean BKB basically makes Zeus pointless. We have uh, Moonlight Shadow coming out, Loda and Aki are looking for a target. They know that Goblag went up the hill, but they're not going to find him anymore, so... Yeah, he already killed Too that bad. a little bit late now. Yeah. Too bad, so sad. Well, at least they play so they're going to run back into him. Yep, yeah. free kill. Rupture and run, man. Or can he TP? No, he's out of there. Yeah, even the Zeus ulti coming in to support and the Clockwork Rocket. Okay, well, they're gonna get a kill on Ake, right? The K is just strong in this yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> what a KS. <laughs> Kills it with a read fire, no problem for solo. KS are everywhere, man. Yeah. Alliance are the worst when it comes to KS. That Rocket getting the last hit. Nice goal, though, for uh, Clockwork, because he was falling more and more behind. So now he almost has a play mill, actually. Yeah, we almost got the Necronomicon complete for the Nature's Prophet as well, so... So, if, if there's a Blame on Clockwork for this example, and you're Gold Black, should you just not ultimate that Clockwork? Because he's gonna just turn on Blame and be like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna walk it off. Yeah, well... <laughs> I don't know, man. Bloodseeker is pretty tanky hero. It depends. If you have someone close to you that you can kill at the same time, then... It doesn't really matter that much, a Bloodseeker. The Midas build does set you down a little bit by that, but... Okay, so it's gonna be the Maelstrom first as well. Just see it now on Bloodseeker. Would you say that the Midas at this point has somewhat caught himself up? Like, I don't think it's a deficit item anymore. Oh, Bullock is gonna be in some trouble in the jungle here. He's gonna make it out alive. Actually gets a hook shot off, but... Yeah. yeah. No luck there. Some nice pick off there. I don't think it's a deficit item, but you're just not that tanky. Nice arrow dodge coming in. And they keep chasing a little bit, but I Dyer's think he's gonna be just fine running away here. Attack. Double damage rune on the top lane as well, and the top tower is going down. Well, it's starting to go down. Let's see if Alliance are gonna rotate to defend. Well, it feels like they're a bit behind Dyer's the ball here. They're like, Rox Kiss is all over the place, but Alliance can't really make anything... ...any place off the back of what Dyer's they actually achieve. They get a kill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, harass. I think doing that against a Prophet is like, I don't know, man. Like, he could just backstab you, but... Yeah, maybe. But then again, doing it on a Bloodseeker is also sort of fun just to, to creep okay. full HP. Here comes a backstab, it's gonna be a wrap, it's gonna be a sprout, they all go on S4, where's the Bloodseeker? He's running it fast for the car! Where car. was that car from? Yo! He, he stole Raph and Yeah, he, he stole it. Thunder God's Raph. Oh. Okay, he's well, still gonna drop though. At least they get something, but that was not worth it for Alliance at all. Trying to go now with the Mirana and missing an arrow. Woo. Gonna miss. But meanwhile, all this, they did lose the top tower though. So. I agree with you, Loom. Like the alliance feels like they're kind of behind in this. Just always one step behind Rock's Kiss in the movement, and Rock's Kiss are ahead in kills. So how are they going to get back into this? You think? Well, alliance lineup is not that much better for fighting, but it's also not that strong for pushing. So Radiance they just need perfect execution attack. and good timing on their smoke tanks, or abusing the fact that they're dire and can go for an early Roshan maybe. But you have to be careful. No one is allowed to go low HP because Spot Seeker. Mm -hmm. I do find it interesting that for Alliance, they've got two Observer Wards up on the map, and they're very aggressive. They've got one, well, it's about to disappear in the Alliance, or in the uh, Rakskis jungle, and one also uh, next to the Ancients of Rakskis. But what can they really do with those wards? It's... it's Well, it's, it's some difficult. some vision and some knowledge. You could see some nice smoke ganks from them, so it could, you know, work as a safety for yourself. But uh, I'm looking at this Bloodseeker. He's gonna get really big this game. Yeah. And... I don't know, he's probably gonna go for a Mjolnir right away. 
fight. He could also go back for a BKB now and just be pretty unstoppable, I feel. Because then there's not going to be any damage from Venomancer, no damage from Zeus. Clockwork basically has no damage. Either, so you could just walk in. And they still have the Thundergod's Wrath, by the way. So this push is well time for Rock's Kiss. I mean, Thundergod's Wrath is actually a lot better on Rock's Kiss because oh, yeah. you get Bloodseeker's Blood Rage triggered on him. You Look at Bloodseeker. Like he, just, he just doesn't care. I'm going to walk behind your tier 2 tower because if Thundergod's Wrath hit, so will Dyer's Wrath of Nature on yeah. everybody. And uh, suddenly Bloodseeker is walking fast. Yeah, and maybe even an AA Blast. There's so much. The synergy is really really strong for them. And they have a long duration on the Thundergod's Wrath. Attack. It's still at least a good minute. Even more. Yeah, there's only one tower left on the map on the side of Alliance. And then is Roshan, I guess, for Rock's case and trying to go high ground. That's yeah. where they are gonna run into some problems, and that's where they do need that Bloodseeker to be really big because he needs to be the one to initiate there. Yeah, they used to ult into the Thunder God's Wrath to scout there with mm -hmm. Rock's case because they are smoke ganging and wanna find someone. In the end, they just see that Alliance are kinda playing it safe right now. Sedoi, careful for any type of smoke ganks, and as we say that, they are smoking up on yeah. bottom lane, but Sedoi is already being careful. Not sure if they're gonna find him here. He's teeping away. It's gonna be a bit of wasted time for Alliance, unless they actually rotate into Roshan. Yeah, they should. This is probably a timing to go Roshan, especially oh, with the double damage yeah. laying around there. So now they're gonna obvious? try it. Well, now I they're gonna try it with AA Ulti is already out here. Bang. Yeah, Ouch. wow, that's perfect scout timing, seeing it immediately. There's no way that they're getting a free Roshan here and fighting could be very dangerous. They're already going low to tanking Roshan. Look at Bulldog. Oh, Blood Seeker is seeing him, I think. 50% health? Oh, yeah, no, not, not, not yet. really yet. Not yet, but soon. And yeah, not Rock really yet, is already coming in. They don't have any wards up here, though. So at least, well, not on that side of the river anyways. Alliance have to forfeit this one. Let's just back out. They could, of course, contest Roshan if Rock's Hiss walk into a pit, but they cannot stand and just fight them straight up. Would yes. you say one of the weakness for Rock's Kiss is that the fact that they're very poor at counter-initiating? Let's say Rock's Kiss just pile up the yeah. Roshan pit. They get jumped on by, I don't know, like a good clockwork into a 2-3-man cog. Yeah, for sure. They're, they're kind of just stuck there. They don't have like a like a Burrow Strike to seal things through. They don't have an RP. Yeah. They're very single target focused. I'm also going to look attack. a lot at S4 and his positioning in the fight because he has a hard job in this game. He can get Dragon Tail, he can get Blood Rage. If he gets locked down in a fight, Radiant's the damage output is not enough for Alliance. They need him bursting out his nukes all the game, uh, like all the fight long. And the Roshan being contested now by That's Alliance. It's a very not slow really. Roshan though. And a one blink use, nuking a little bit. This is a dangerous position from yeah. S4, but Allies. feeling confident. They okay. out, and actually they hooked up uh, They want to go for Godlike. Don't think they're going to get mails. that kill. Oh, Blade Mail from Blade Mail. Blade Mail of Godlike wins. He's still going to go down, though, as EGM and Aki are taking a large amount of damage from Solo. They are going to take EGM down, but he will respawn, as in the backside. Nice play by Loda. Gonna be Loda from the back. He's going to be able to at least get a kill. Might go down. Actually, no, he's going to get that life. He still has an arrow up. His... Never mind. Wow. Yeah, I underestimated no. the chilling. He didn't even have chilling touch, actually. And EGM needs to survive. He's a 1900 goal. If he makes it out alive, this one he will have blink dagger but there's really no chasing profit buyback perhaps into a tp yeah no, could maybe but does he have one no, yeah. ice blast is down. Uh, he doesn't ice blast in, in 10 seconds but he, he should be back in the base but oh hit that fight yeah, he sent the ice blast, blast. it's attack. coming in or oh, the rocket i mean it's coming in for uh, oh, the kill on aa is it gonna hit it's gonna hit it's gonna hit man bang Kapa oh, Ooh. that's so close. Okay, that Kapow was a bit... <laughs> the fail. And Roshan again being contested here by... Or trying to do a sneaky Roshan before their respawns are even so coming slow. up. It's pretty slow and it's scouted now by Rocket, but Nexo coming in here from Furion. They can kill this. What do you think, by the way, about Nation Depression without Chilling Touch? Okay, Ward deny time. Here we go. Roshan has fallen no, to the ring. Sorry, radio. Dream is crushed, Lumi. Well... He's maxing out the Ice Vortex, which, I don't know. It's got another buff, I guess. It's really strong. <laughs> it's really strong for sure. But the fact that he's maxing out the Cold Feet as well is the surprising part. But playing to the combination, when you have DK stun and stuff like this, like the Telekinesis, you have some good combinations with it, then it can be a good spell. And they don't rely so much on Chilling Touch in, in the laning phase or anything like that, then yeah, you can go for this, this type of build. So what are we actually looking at now when we look at the experience and gold grab? Yeah, it's a bit uh, skewed in favor of Rock's case, I uh, yeah. imagine. With that Roshan as well, now the straight line Alliance up. are in a really tough spot because there's no break for them. Like, 
what they needed, as I said, was to get Roshan. Now Roxkis has robbed them of the Roche and Alliance can't push. Okay, EGM is going for a secondary carry option. Yeah, yes. He needs to. I mean, the normal item we see here is Blink Dagger. How, why do you think Blink Dagger would be a, perhaps a poor option in this game? Well, the Ice Blast is really the biggest reason, and even the Furion will be just annoying stuff hitting you. And even Bloodseeker can chase you down and stop your blink pretty hard, so... Going into some extra damage, as I say, if they don't have more damage, then everything comes down to S4 and his positioning. He does have a Blink Dagger, playing Risky on top lane. Uh, but in the team fight, they need to have something extra just to, to kick a punch, because if you don't burst fast enough, you will never kill this Roxkiss lineup. And look at that Bloodseeker, he's so firm, has an Invis rune, scouting around. I don't think he should come on this. Nah. If he goes up and finds the Veno, he can actually kill him, I think. He has his team fairly close. Okay, just a public service announcement. Uh, if you wanted to do safe lane Bloodseeker and go Midas first, please don't. Or at least please keep in mind that what happened this game is... He was able to get five kills for his that team top. and perhaps a little bit more TP out attempt solo get there with the dragon. That's the long TP man. Jesus, that was close. Okay. Yeah, n I don't think a build like this would work if they didn't have a big enough lead. Ice Blast going to the base. Yeah, no Aghanims though, so... Raph? Raph? Come on. I don't know, man. He has it on cooldown. Raph, make sure. Oh, there, 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 there you go. Yeah. He doesn't want to use it, man. Has he has to KS. Dyer's name of the game. Top, top lane now being pushed and no Venom has awards to defend. I don't think they can hold this really that easily. Like, they're trying to split push and now they're coming in, but the damage being dealt is pretty strong. They need a good card. But as soon as the Dragon Form is out, they need to back out on Rock's Kiss and it's not too much long. Okay. Oh. Nice catch. See, you know, I think he's, uh, he's gonna be already oh gone. So is actually gonna go no. S4, invisible for the moment, but... Well, Dragonform is gone, now Solo has to back up, as you mentioned. Loda is going to be trying to make it out, but still is going to get shattered by the AA. And Bulldog into deep as well, so they defend, but... Well, it's not over yet, so the Necrobooks are up and they're just pushing, and this is where yeah. Silver is not too happy. Necrobooks, that's not your favorite unit. I mean, they're holding for now, they might lose the tier 3, Dyer's but if the Rack stands, it stands. Zeus on the back line, just arc lightning for days. Is he? There's a boat. He gotta keep our lightning. I can't bring the melee racks. I they're think they actually, range racks. They're giving the reincarnation of EGM away as they're well. They're gonna get a kill here for free, right? No, he gets lifted here, and that's what's gonna get blown to the low ground. He's gonna be dead. BCZ survives. There's a big ult coming down for Ake. Not really gonna do much. This dragon block for Solo is doing so much work. Still has ages. So. Still has ages, and he is gonna be using it, coming back to full. Ake will go down before Solo even does. There finally goes the Aegis. Yeah. Maybe try to is in available. Now. Whips oh. pretty hard. And Solo's here. The cog's gonna push them back out. Oh my god, level EGM. 16. Is he gonna be dead before he drops his sun? He's gonna drop the sun, but Ice Vortex plus Flame Breath. Dyer's this push won't end, man. And so now they attack. decided that Range Rax might be the better choice. I think they have to back out now, Solo. You don't have an Aegis anymore. Arrow. Catch the arrow? No. Close. They still keep pressuring here. 40, 45 seconds on the Furion. And Bloodseeker is just farming woods at the meantime. He's like, well, you guys are up to that. I'm just going to farm, man. Yeah, I'm actually what quite surprised that they didn't get a Rex out of that one. There's a so salty available. What would Alliance give for a Bloodseeker of their own right now? Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, even oh, they've got a ward. Staying safe. If that helps. But yeah. Do you think they could have taken Rex? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, if Bloodseeker was beelining down for that <laughs> lane, he's Maybe. Farming loops. It's tough though, because Alliance have so fast respawn timers. That's actually their best defense in this case, was the fact that they're not that high level yet and they could so. defend. Yeah, the Desolator going for raw damage here on Wraith King. So he's he's the carry now. Just like screw Loda. Loda still has some damage, but he needs this help from Wraith King. Yeah. Is this a Mask of Man if oh, They might catch out the Bloodseeker, trying to find him. We'll get some vision on him Lotus there, but... like, I did this once before and lost us the game. Leap into arrow, into, yep, blink bolt. Oh, the blink bolt! No! No! He's gonna get a lot of region! Can you keep him over there? Go back, still alive, here comes the TP. The clockwork hope comes in, he's finally dead, but his teammates may be a little bit trouble. Stolen bolt, it's gonna hit right there, Ice Blast's gonna hit. We're gonna have a sprout on ground. Gank was successful, oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, wow. That's... What a play. Okay, what a hero, Yeah, Blade Mail, pretty good item on Bloodseeker. Pretty strong. Holy. 
Yeah. Finding Bloodseeker I thought was maybe gonna be a good thing, but then <laughs> when they don't have a follow-up some after the arrow, Blade Mill just wrecked that Zeus. Holy, he disappeared, man. Yeah, Lodo disappeared straight after as well. It's, uh, I wasn't Ooh, expecting that one. One for four sure. trade after you smoke gang into the enemy jungle and find a solo hero. That's not what you want. That's because they didn't have EGM. He's the true carry in this game. He is. He was farming. That's what true well, carries do. They needed do. that stun, yo. That true carry is about to get backstabbed because uh, Prophet is coming with Necro books. Yeah, we do have AA close by, but I don't think they're going to find him, though. AA actually has finished up his Aghanims as well. Yeah, so their combo is even more scary now with the AA and Furion. Because now the duration on the time that you cannot heal, also the damage from AA ulti. It's just so scary with a Bloodseeker in the team. Okay, can, can I get excited for a bit, uh, for a while? Prophet right now has, what, 4k, I think, saved up? Mm -hmm. What Almost. about Refresher in this game? <laughs> it not could, not it for farming. No, it could actually work. The whole Womo combo thing is pretty damn strong and pretty damn enjoyable as well, actually. Warriors yeah, I feel Warriors. that it's good. But to be honest, if you want to go for something like that, I would actually say that he can go Aghanims just because they need to pressure the Silence as well. So okay. do that meanwhile you fight. Because look at them, right now they're just dealing with the split push from Alliance, trying to stay... Alliance are trying to stay in the game by having the lanes forced oh, out all the S4. time. Oh, S4. S4? Why no Wrath? Oh, it's on cooldown. Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna be fine for this time. I also wanna see if Yol is gonna manage to steal the, the Thunder God's Wrath again. It's been pretty on point with Steel's. Yol played amazing this Yol game. Yol has a BKB. Yol like, is actually yeah. very rich. Yeah, he has a four staff and BKB, <laughs> telling the tale of his play. And he also has a gem. I don't know. He probably purchased. No, it was the A. A is also rich, to be honest. Aghanim's been working on a veil. Yeah, those early ganks on the Zeus really shut S4 down so hard. Because he's basically glorified support at this point. Yeah. BKB, 10 second duration on Bloodseeker here. I don't see how they're gonna hold this. They need to clear all the creeps before they even get close. That's the only way. Okay, I'm gonna quote Dondo again. He says, Zeus beats BKB carry. Oh, he didn't say how, but he just said it happens. It happens, yeah. okay. So, in Dondo we trust, or maybe in S4 we trust. I trust Dondo, but yeah, I will not question him. So, here comes the push again, and they can't kill all the creeps. Gonna go straight for the range tracks. Okay, Rupture on F4, he needs to get out of there, but he's gonna be straight up dead. Look at that gold block, he's gonna play now with the Lightning Lord. He's a real god of Zeus, or Olympia, I think it was. Venno just dies. <laughs> yeah, BKB. Three heroes gone. Venno wasn't even focused, he just dies to all the AoE coming out there. Arrow. And that's... Ooh. Oh, okay! <laughs> oh. Well, that's close. Well, that was the easiest Rex of their life. Yeah, well, they're just gonna continue, because what's gonna stop them at this point? Yeah. Yeah. There's no buybacks coming out from Alliance. Uh, there is a buyback available for both Venno as well as Clockwork, but... Dyer's structure. Yeah, even if they do buyback, they won't nice have to see. Choose. Nice to see a Bloodseeker working so well for yeah. Optus here. I mean, the, the heroes they have are definitely designed to fight with them, and I like the fact that they have Furion and DK Dyer's to secure some push. Dyer's Dyer's for oh, oh, oh. He's gonna die here. Yep. So that just gets picked and but when you have too much fighting with Bloodseeker, the normal scenario is that you lack pushing power. But with Furion and DK, you kind of secure that. I think this is an amazing oh, draft coming out from Roxkiss. You get on all the points, Bloodseeker for the kills, uh, Profit for the global, as well as the push. And they're just going to try to end it. 45 seconds till all the Rock goes on S4. He just can't blink away. You talked about how important it is for S4 to position away, but it just doesn't matter. Go blind. He's just in middle. Fast. Yeah, dead. That's with a Venom as a Gale, like he does not care, just walks in. And this game is over. Yeah. GG, well played, comes out from the wow. two carry. Also fun to see Goblack in a, in a role like this, to be honest, instead of a support. Radiant oh, victory. And this also has some results for uh, standings. Yeah, this is going to make the Earth standing uh, possibly a triple tie. Okay. Possibly, we don't know the result of the Navi as well as the Fnatic game. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, but...